The county now owes a total of $13.5 million to 15 female inmates who say they were sexually assaulted inside the jail. But criminal charges are still hanging in the balance. I'd like to see someone answer for this other than the taxpayer. Robert Collins has been a barber in Jay for more than 20 years. He says the investigation and lawsuit are a part of daily conversation. The sheriff agrees. People are asking continuously, you know, uh, how can there be a $13.5 million settlement and no no one arrested or no no one charged with uh, directly with the wrongdoing. Sheriff Rick Littlefield just took over the job after the settlement in November when his predecessor Jay Blackfox resigned. The jail administrator was also fired. Littlefield says things have come a long way in the last few months. And I'm not sure which direction they're going to uh, to expand the investigation, but uh, uh, I would be surprised if there's any still working here. As far as paying back the 13 million, taxpayers will vote on a half cent sales tax hike in April. Well, if the sales tax increase doesn't pass in April, the money will automatically come from Delaware County residents' property taxes. That also has residents talking. There's not everybody can afford 18%. Uh, a raise on their on their property taxes. Even though a criminal charge won't change the civil settlement, Sheriff Littlefield says it will help residents see what they're paying for. They are just demanding that, that there be some resolve come to this, that, that some, someone is held accountable. And uh, that's that's the direction hopefully this investigation will go to. Brianne Pomerini, 2 News, works for you.